the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I think they. I think. I think we. I think people. I think Cain. Cain did. Did Cain believe in God? He knew God, right? Yeah. Indeed, yeah. He knew God, but he he was angry because he didn't want to do God's will. And even that John ten twenty seven, my sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. Cain, yeah, was a, yeah. Go ahead. Did, go ahead. I question that. It never, says why, it never tells us why Cain wasn't accepted or his offer. It doesn't specifically say that. But there was, um, I thought it did. There was a one, it's put on, I think, in the scripture said that there can be no remission of sin without the shedding of blood. Right. And that so was, when right. he, when Abel took from the flock and slayed that, 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 that whatever it was he slayed and gave it to the Lord, yes, that offering to the right. Lord, there was shedding of blood. Yes, Cain's yes. offering did not require that. And maybe that's why he wasn't accepted. I don't. I don't know. I, I do not know the specifics. I think why he did not. He didn't accept this guy. Right. I think so because you're right. The Cain did what Cain did. He offered, <laughs> he offered her the fruit of the ground. Exactly. <laughs> and and the whole purpose of that force. I think the whole sacrifice from from that time forward. And I'm pretty sure Adam told them what the people. Were. I think it was given to them. Probably it was God that told him. <laughs> exactly. I mean, he was speaking to him. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he said, "I don't, I don't like that. That's not what I. That is not what I told you. I ain't just, look like you said though. That foreshadowing of those sacrifices was for the foreshadowing of Jesus, right? The, I mean, God, it, when you think about it, God had to to give them the instructions because it doesn't show yeah. Adam and Eve giving oh, yeah. sacrifices. Come on, come on. So it had to be God that instructed them exactly to do so." Right, right, right. And he's telling you, obviously, if he said they don't like what you're doing, I mean, this, this is not, I didn't, I didn't call you to do that. I think that's not what I'm asking. You, you're doing that because your sin, you, the sacrifice that you're doing, you're supposed to do, is because that's what's required. Well, yeah, sin, sin leads to sin. Uh-huh. Uh, and and that basically, that's what, what God said, you know, that you're subject to it. Yeah. You know, yep. that's who that's what you'll you'll serve. Woo. And so he just went right out, out there and didn't accept the wisdom that was given him mm -hmm. and allowed sin to have its place and he slew his brother. I mean he slew his brother. Yes. Yes. He was angry. And like you say, he's angry at He's angry at the wrong person. If you're angry, angry at God, don't be angry at me. Who you angry at? Well, I, I can't even. I, I, not that I need to know that what what that conversation was, but it just it blows my mind that he would have a conversation with his brother and then slew, you know, then then kill him. Right. So what what could his brother have seen? You know, well, hey, <laughs> all I did was what God told me. Exactly. Well, I, I can't help you. Yeah, I guess you probably want him to do the same thing or something. But that's what I see in modern day time too, right? The hate we have toward one another. That means you're not you're not listening. I'm saying that that's what I'm saying. We're all God is talking to every last one of us. You got hate toward one another. You're not you're not reject you're rejecting him. He can't accept you because you don't there, there, huh? There's a scripture that uh, says if God be for you, who can be against you? Right? I mean, yes, you. And, and, I, and I look in terms of even things we see in our society now, um, such for social injustice, racism, and that kind of thing is going on. Right. And I, I listen right. to the cry of the people, and the people cry for each other. They don't really cry for the Lord. Mm. And, and and I was looking at, um, uh, not, uh, not looking at, well, I guess I could say I observed yesterday evening while we were on the street, this young man came by. We had finished playing the gospel music and stuff, and he had his, his, his radio playing really, really loud, like our people do. Right, and, and, and he was cussing. I mean, he was—he he was filling the street with vulgar filth, and and I and I heard that so many times coming out of our people's cars and out of their mouths and stuff, and it's been put into the airways and the things that come out of our mouth. 
you know, it's, 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 life and death is in the power of the tongue. Mm. And I and I sometimes wonder, are we experiencing like with Cain and Abel, are we experiencing this downside because of that? I, are we I, doing something that's putting us at odds with God? I think is he I, allowing our enemy to overwhelm us because we wrong? Right. We don't want to do his will. You know, I think that's what it, you know, the Bible said they're going to hate us, right? In the, in the end time, they're going to hate the followers. Yeah. yeah. They're going to hate them. They're going to, they, they, they hate the world, hates you now. How many people, brother, as I think when you did that one about <laughs> those guys you was talking about that last week or so, when you know, when you changed, you wanted to hear, you heard God, you changed, you threw all this stuff away, you saw them passing by. They didn't show, but they, they never show, they never show hate toward you, though, right? They didn't. Well, I mean, the look on their face was like, you know, when, when you have a rival and you ain't smiling and, and handing out roses and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, so, so of course, you know, they mad mugging and, and uh, look, trying to look as hard as they can. And, uh, you know, and so one, once I got past their outward appearance uh and, and then focus refocused back on god right. they 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 were not a concern you know what i'm saying right you know more for you my concern was to continue giving god the glory and the honor mm -hmm. for saving my life exactly for, you know for altering the course that was said no different you know what it was no different than what what was taught to, to Cain. Yes, it was no different. Exactly way. the same scenario. <laughs> but yet, the difference was I heard the uh -huh. voice, I listened to it, and I applied it, and I changed course. Come on. Cain did not change course. He did not. He did not. So, you know, I, I was just looking at uh, one of these scriptures that that Bishop put up in, in, in Matthews, and it still goes to the the why Jesus spoke in parables. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? You know, and 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 then you you it kind of helps me understand why people don't hear. Come on. Voice. Yeah. Amen. They're hearing parables. They're hearing Amen. Because that's all they want to receive is just the spoken word, not the spirit of the word. Yes. So yes. they're hearing a parable uh -huh. of God's word, and then the revelation yeah, okay. comes from God yeah. about the parable yeah. is not given to them. Right. Man, come on now. Hey, look, hey, look, yep. <laughs> and let's look at the K factor on this. And they know what to do. Yeah. Every last one of us knows, and I'm talking about the world, they know what to do. You know, I was thinking, while you was talking, I was thinking about that young man that went in and killed those people in the Bible study. He had that much, he had the cane factor in him while these others were studying the word of God. And he even sat in the Bible study with them. Yeah. Man, I would love to know what that Bible study was. It is still, he still killed him. And I'm saying is that I think all of us individually have this conversation. Those of us trying to do as well, he's going, you're going to be accepted if you do well. And then those who reject God, and you have to know some people reject God, reject the, the gospel because of what people have done, not because of what God has done. They they be mad, they be mad at the church forever, right? But one yeah. of the, one of the thing, Elvin, look at this right here, just to kind of put us in the frame of mind too, because we talking about hearing from God, right? And 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 I wonder a lot of us, and I'm talking about the world. So when I'm talking about a lot of us, I talk about individuals and believers. But I'm talking about the world, and then those who are walking away from the world. This elder, what, what, what do you get from that? Can you read that Hebrews five eleven through fourteen just to, for us to talk yeah. about? For whom we have many things to say, and hard to be uttered. 
seeing you are dull of hearing. <laughs> but when the time ye ought to be teachers, oh. you have need that someone teach that you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God. Uh -huh. And to become such as have need of milk and not a strong meat. Uh -huh. For everyone that uses milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. Mm -hmm. For he is a babe, but strong meat belongeth to them that are full age. Mm -hmm. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Mm. So, so the question is how does somebody do hate towards somebody else? If they can discern between good and evil. Yeah, well, it says you have to have your senses exercised, right? First, right? Yeah. yeah. Which was, so if you're still reading the word, you're still feeding on the word, but not yet able to do it, then you're a babe. And you can't discern, right? <laughs> and you're not yet come to the, the yeah. Because I think if you don't employ the principles, you never see the outcome. Mm. You know it, but I mean, what's the benefit of loving your enemy? You never know the truth or the good from the evil because they never see the manifestation of it. Yeah. So the word is just bless them and curse you. You never bless somebody, how you gonna know the benefit of it? Right. And I keep so, thinking about that part, that first part about dull of hearing. <laughs> I, I, I think that's hearing dull of hearing from God as well as from. Yeah, from, definitely from hearing from God. I think so. You know, I, I, I think that's, I think that's where the world is when I talk about the brother that said I never heard from God. Because his, his ears are dull in hearing the voice of God. The Adam, I mean, Cain was, I think, Cain, I don't want to hear, what, where's my brother? I don't know where he is. My brother, his, I'm, a, I'm his keeper. I mean, he got, to me, the boy got rude. He got indignant. <laughs> he got, God. He got what? outright rude from God. What, and, I got in my pocket and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the boy is. Did you catch that? It's, it's like it's like you you can't hear from God and you, you're dull of hearing. You don't want to hear. As many don't want to hear the fact that God said, "I gave you a commandment to love one another." See, that don't fit my scenario. If I got to sit down, I got to bash people. I got to I got to talk about people. I got to put people down. That don't fit my scenario. Uh, you, you know the thing that's really funny. People, we are like that. We are like that. We have been that way. Right. <laughs> some of us have been, you know, grown out of it, but we were all there at some point. We're I right. think. Right. And, and, it, and it allows us to understand why people behave the way that they do. It doesn't help us very much when it comes to our own behavior, though, because mm. even when we, we assess accurately what they're, what phase they're going through, we still got to love them. Yeah. And, and that shows the personal growth on our part. Right. And that, that's the hard part. That's when it talks about down here saying, but strong meat belonging to them that are full age. Yes, sir. I think that's what we're talking about in this chapter down here. It's like, you know that these people are rejecting Jesus and you, but you still have to love them. Yeah. You still have to show them the example of Christ. And the graduation ceremony is you getting crucified and praying for them. <laughs> yeah. And that's the real deal. Right. Because it's not an acquisition of material wealth, it's an acquisition of character. Mm -hmm. We're putting on Christ, we're putting on the character of the man who's our prototype, who's going to raise us from the dead for eternity, to rule and reign with him. So we are literally being brought to a point where we really are able to, in a sense, love the hell out of folks. Yeah. No matter how hellish they come across, no matter what they do to you, you're still extending that hand of mercy and grace and love and forgiveness until such time the Lord should restrain Mm -hmm. And that's 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 where we're being brought to, and it's not a. What can I say? I don't know how to put this. Uh, you know, P. Lee used to say, uh, uh, "There's nothing in it for us. There's yeah. absolutely nothing in it for us on a personal level." Yeah. But you poured out that other people might benefit from your sacrifice. And that's what I'm saying. It's interesting. You know, you use the word sacrifice because that's what I wrote the way to say, brother Asin, that that sacrifice that Cain was doing. Lord help. Me. We got the same. <clears throat> modern day sacrifice is different, but it is a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. to love somebody, to forgive somebody. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. You know, it's, it's basically our, our sacrifice that is likened to Abel yeah. is love. Amen. Period. Mm -hmm. That is the commandment. That's the commandment. So 
to fulfill that commandment is to offer as able. <laughs> exactly. Right. That's the that's the point I'm thinking that when a person don't want to hear that. Cause I think God is that's what I'm saying. I think some piece of God is just telling somebody over and over to do something. They don't want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it's 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 right there. Hebrews, Hebrews 5.11. I mean you dull of hearing. <laughs> you says it right there. See, <laughs> we are dull of hearing. You don't want to hear that no more. Oh, man, right. I think you know, I to say that. You know, don't you be telling you, me about no love in my you enemy. Go and, and get a message, and then you'll hear it, the same scriptures come up again, and then you shut your ears thinking, well, I already got that. No, no if you got it, you would be eating meat from that Woo. and not still drinking the milk of it. So you get it the first time, obviously, because you're dull of hearing. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I think that was said. So, hey, uh, Benjamin Silas for a while, but I'm telling you, is that we, I think people just don't hear and don't want to hear it, want to reject what God has to say, and they just go about their business. But God is talking to them. God yeah. is calling them. I mean, God, he, God was, God, those of us who come in to, 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 the, uh, to, to the gospel, you, I'm pretty sure you heard God call you way before you went up to that altar. Way before you got on your knees. You heard him. Well, you know, most people, well, I can't say most people. A lot of people don't receive God at the altar. You know, but you're taught to do that. You're taught to bring them to the altar. Uh -huh. The altar is 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 in you. Yes, sir. Yes. Wherever you go, there is the altar because there is no more altar other than the cross uh -huh. of Christ. That's the, the the last offer offering. Right, right, <laughs> right. Hey, look. But unless you're unless you're offering up, you know, praises and 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 sacrifice and and and, and persecution. Right. <laughs> and man, man, the problem is, elders, that we, we tell them to come to the cross, to come to the altar, regardless of whether it's in your car, your, your, your job, or whatever, is obey, hear, submit to him. Amen. That, that's that, the ultimate, right? But that's the part that maybe we, we don't want. Oh, I need you to, I need you to, oh, like Brother Addison did. Good, I just use you. It's good parables, good stuff. Uh, throwing away all the drugs, right? You heard it. Who told you to, th to throw that stuff away? Who told you to throw it away anyway? Who, who told you? I I, I, I want to say that that's what God told me, but I knew that that didn't line up with the lifestyle that that God would want. Well, I didn't find the light right. Whatever so, didn't line up right. So, and that was just from from upbringing. Uh huh. Uh, it was of no concern to me. It wasn't a priority to me it didn't fit his will anyway right it did not line up with if you keep going this way you will die yeah so therefore to go the other way means i have to do things that that is not the other way is yeah. you see what so I'm saying? everything i was currently doing it, it was it exactly it. so my point is that you did it because he told you to yeah and and i'm saying and now let's go back a little bit before you did it weeks late years whatever you knew you both had done it you probably heard him said this stop it put it away oh yeah you see what i'm saying i'm trying to set people was, was, you know you 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 get into to sin just like just like what we just read the, the same thing here we go right back to cain <laughs> <laughs> You know, when 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 you hear the voice of God or or, or just reason, you know, your parents teaching you uh, fundamental about. things about life. Yes, sir. And, and even then you go against that and you become dull to that. Oh, you, oh come on. I, oh, some of them so bad. Some of them so bad. Look, they, they're, 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 they're Forcefully say, I ain't gonna do what you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> they may get knocked out. <laughs> now, some of them, 
<laughs> get knocked out. <laughs> A friend of mine said his brother told him not to do something. He, said, he went straight out and did it. He said he was wrong about everything else. And <laughs> no. look, and it's funny. The K fact is, I know what to do. Yeah, yeah. And they're mad at you because he he looked like he's accepting you. But he's rejected me. And that's a personal conversation that God is having daily. Yeah. Not only with the saints, but with the ain'ts. And yeah. I think he might have more with the ain'ts more than us. Because he's calling. Uh, well, the thing.